Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. I'd like to thank you for joining us today for this Power Up webinar on how to edit and trim faster inside Final Cut Pro. You know, over the years as we work with an application, especially if we're self-taught, it's really easy for us all to develop bad habits and things that slow us down as we're in the process of editing. That's what this webinar is all about. I want to show you how you can replace bad habits with good habits, slow techniques with faster techniques. I want to make it possible for you to make Final Cut Pro fly. This is really a fundamental series of, of examples that we're going to cover today. There's no great advanced technology, but sometimes we lose sight of the fundamentals and we get ourselves all tripped up on our own feet. That's what I want to fix today. Take a step back and look at the reason why we bought Final Cut in the first place, to be able to edit and trim our video. With that as a preamble, let's get ourselves started. You know, even simple projects involve dozens, sometimes hundreds of edits. Speeding the technical process of editing and trimming clips can save untold hours over the course of a single project. So this session today is designed to show you faster ways to accomplish the two most fundamental tasks inside Final Cut Pro, editing and trimming clips. Today I want to show you how to create and organize your sequences in the browser, show you faster ways to mark and edit your clips, illustrate special edits for special situations, explain what trimming is and why use it, show 11 different ways to trim so you can find the method that works the best for you. And throughout I'm going to be emphasizing keyboard shortcuts. We're going to give you lots of them because I tend to be keyboard centric and if I can do something with a keyboard faster than a mouse I'm going to use the keyboard. If I can do the mouse faster than the keyboard I'm going to use the mouse. For me, it's all about staying efficient. And that efficiency is the focus of what we're talking about today. To get started, before we even launch Final Cut, I want to talk about a conflict between Mac OS keyboard shortcuts and Final Cut Pro keyboard shortcuts. Here's how to fix it. Before we actually work with Final Cut, I'm going to go up to the Apple logo, go down to System Preferences. Inside System Preferences, there's a an item on the first line called Exposé and Spaces. And when you open up Exposé and Spaces, notice that the keyboard shortcuts for these two functions in the Exposé tab are F9 through F12. The problem is F9 through F12 conflict directly with some of the most powerful keyboard shortcuts that Final Cut offers. So we want to remap the operating system keyboard shortcuts so that we can use the keyboard shortcuts inside Final Cut. To do that, hold down the Control key. While holding the control key down, reset the pop-up to control, that's that little house symbol there, control F9, control F10, control F11, and control F12. I really enjoy working with Exposé, being able to see all the different windows that are open inside an application or all my applications is a great thing. The problem is I also want to be able to use Final Cut more efficiently. So by remapping these keyboard shortcuts, I don't turn Exposé off. It just means that if I want to see the dashboard, I have to hold the Control key down at the same time as I type F12. Once you've made this change, now we can go back into Final Cut. There's several steps that I want to review on a process of editing clips inside Final Cut. First, I want to talk about how to make sure your sequence settings are correct, talk about creating a new sequence, naming a new sequence, and configuring a new sequence. So let's go back to Final Cut again. 